Do you see video scheduler internal error on your Windows 10 machine? In this video, you will see fixes for video scheduler internal blue screen error. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Try common fixes. Clean your PC. Video scheduler internal error could be due to the overheating issue, so you should clean the internal part of your CPU and remove the dirt from it. Make sure that all the fans are working correctly, especially on the GPU. Uninstall recently installed software or hardware. If you have recently installed software or hardware and start seeing this error after that, you should uninstall it. Faulty hardware or software might cause this error. Scan your PC with anti-malware. Malware could also cause the video scheduler internal error. So scan your PC with strong anti-malware such as Malware Fox. Clean all the detected threats. Disable hardware acceleration. Sometimes the hardware acceleration on your browser could also cause this error. It would help if you tried disabling it. On Google Chrome, click on Menu. Then open the settings. Scroll down and click on Advanced. Now go to the System section. Here, disable the hardware acceleration. If you are using Mozilla Firefox, open the menu. Then open the settings. Scroll down to the Performance section. Here, untick the box of Use Recommended Performance Settings. Then you will see Use Hardware Acceleration when available. Now disable it. On Microsoft Edge, click on the menu, then on Settings. Click on the system from the left sidebar. Now here, disable the hardware acceleration. Update your graphics card drivers. An outdated graphics card driver could also cause the video scheduler internal error. Or if you have recently updated the driver, it might not be working correctly. So you should roll back the driver. To do that, click on Start and type Device Manager. Open it. Now expand the Display Adapters section. Right-click on your graphics card. Choose Update Driver. You can download the latest driver from the manufacturer's website and then provide the location here. If you have recently updated the graphics card driver, you need to roll it back. Right-click on your graphics card. Choose Properties. Now go to the Driver tab. Here, click on Roll Back Driver. Now follow the instructions. You can also try disabling the graphics card and then enable it. Right-click on the graphics card and choose Disable Device. Now right-click on it again and select Enable Device. If none of this works, right-click on the graphics card and choose Uninstalled Device. Then restart your PC. Windows will recognize the hardware and reinstall it. Run SFC and Check Disk Tool. The SFC stands for System File Checker. It finds issues with the system files and fixes them. To run that, type CMD at the start. Right-click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Click Yes. Type SFC space forward slash scan now, then hit Enter. Wait for the process to get complete. Now run the Check Disk tool to verify if everything is all right with the disk. A disk error could also cause heavy memory usage. To check that, you should run the Check Disk tool. Open the command prompt as administrator and type chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. Now press the Enter button. It will find the issues with the disk and repair them. If it is saying that the drive is locked and asks you to schedule the check disk on the next restart, type Y and hit Enter. Now restart your system and let the check disk complete its task. Did you overclock your GPU? Have you recently overclocked your GPU? If you have made any changes to your GPU settings, it could cause the video scheduler internal error. So it would help if you undid the changes. If you can't access the app to change the GPU clocking settings, you should boot in the safe mode and then uninstall the app for your GPU. Then you can reinstall the app by downloading it from the official website. 
This way, any modifications made through the app will be changed to the default. Reinstall your GPU. The faulty GPU could cause the video scheduler internal error. If you have installed a GPU as a separate card, you can try removing it and then plugging it again. If the GPU is heating too much, it could be a sign of a faulty GPU. You can check the temperature of your GPU on the app offered by the GPU's manufacturer. You can also check it on the Task Manager. Right-click on the taskbar and choose Task Manager. Click on the Performance tab. Here, select your GPU and you can see its temperature. If the temperature is too high, you need to improve the cooling system of your CPU. You can purchase an extra cooling system and install it to counter the issue. If it is still not fixing your problem, you need to take the help of experts. Run Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool The error in memory management often causes video scheduler internal blue screen error. You can run Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool to diagnose the issue. To do that, click on Start and type Windows Memory Diagnostic. Open it. You will see two options. The first one allows you to restart your PC now and run the diagnostic tool. You can schedule the tool to run on the next startup using the second option. Select the first one. Your PC will restart and the tool will run the diagnostics. Update your windows. Outdated windows could also cause the video scheduler internal error, so you should regularly update your Windows 10. Open Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click on Check for Updates. Install all the available updates. A faulty Windows update could also cause this issue. If you see this error after updating Windows, you can uninstall them. Click on View Update History. Click on Uninstall Updates. Here, select the recently installed update. Click on Uninstall. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.